Hello there, friends of freedom. Hello there, Freedom Nation United. Coach Peter here. Good day. Hey, um, I was just thinking about the 12 days of Christmas and the many things that we have to be grateful for. And so I put together a little Freedom Nation United version of the 12 days of Christmas just in respect to the people and the businesses who have shared their journey along with me along the way. So when I hear on the 12th day of Christmas my true love sent to me, my brain is thinking gratitude to 12 sets of people. So here goes, I won't sing it, just in respect for your, uh, your listening pleasure. On the 12th day of Christmas, I gave thanks to 12 worldwide leader doers. Edward Elliott, D. Gabinet, Ian Edward Cleland, Gavin Mountford, Angus McEwan, Patricia Goslin, Dr. Kanaji, hey Kanaji, Toyne Fontaine, Lady March, Franco Gonzalez, Tini J, and of course, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, in him, we are all made with whom it has been my privilege to interact and strive to emulate over the past year. These people are in Canada, East Side, Canada, West Side, Australia, England, Scotland, Italy, from Gambia, South Africa, the South Southern States of the United States, the Western States of the United States, Switzerland, and of course, Jesus who is everywhere. On the 11th day of Christmas, I gave thanks to 11 Grow Rich Thinkers. Mahara Tucker, Paul Hutchings, Melvin Shaw, Fran Clark, Rick Martin, Lindy Sweeney, Super Duper Stan, Neville Barrett, John Chapman, and Mark Myers. Mark from Maine, and the great Dustin Walker from Texas. Their daily commitment to seeking wealth wisdom through each other and through the works of Dr. Napoleon Hill so enrich all the lives that they touch. On the 10th day of Christmas, I gave thanks to 10 passionate Primericans, JP, Jean-Philippe, Granville Goldsmith, Jackie Ashford, Fran Robinson, Packard Lavin, Aaron Fisher, Gary Malone, Ricardo Cruz, Alexandra Ferris and Alison Richards. Their commitment to personal development and the study and teaching of the principles of wealth acquisition inspire me every day with every interaction. On the ninth day of Christmas, I gave thanks to Nine Million Mind Marchers, Diane Hockman, Jason Nagel, Kathy Heath, Lydia Abadia, Ray Tamayo, Ray Moore, <laughs> Shelley Allen, THE Shelley Allen, and Shana Prince, my Shana Princess, Rose Miss, a Rose Miss, <coughs> sorry, a Rose by any other name would still be as sweet, and Kristen Dark Invader, uh, Kristen Dark Involved. Million Mind Marchers who broke bread with me and taught me the power in burying the words I can't. On the eighth day of Christmas, I gave thanks to eight keynote speakers from our Wealth Business Building events. John Lavin, Christian David, David Sharp, David Wood, Dave and Dave, Sam Shepard, Franco Greco, Omar Oropeso. Your history of paying it forward and your present in paying it back to me humbles me. On the seventh day of Christmas, I give thanks for the leadership attributes I experienced embodied in seven great market Americans. J.R. Ridinger, Dennis Franks, Jim Littorelli, Jim Dwyer, Charlie Bear, Marie Gladden, and my personally upline, Anita Trump. On the sixth day of Christmas, I gave thanks to six cash flow business teachers, Kendall Summerhawk, Richard Shapiro, Fred Steinberg, Neil Polshock, Rob Collier, and Larry Singer for the various business perspectives that they taught me and the deeper understanding they gave me that cash flow is the lifeblood of the business. Let me repeat that. Cash flow is the lifeblood of a business. On the fifth day of Christmas, I gave thanks for seven, uh, <laughs> five seminal books. 
The New English Bible by Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and the gang. The Book of Proverbs of King Solomon. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. And The Disciplines of Doership, Doership by Joe Schroeder. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. On the fourth day of Christmas, I gave thanks to the four big planetarians, Shelley Barfield Pasquale, Avi Uniglicht, Scott Schotter and George Antar. It was them who opened my eyes in 1999 and helped me to create a vision in me of the vastness of the universe beyond the world of employment and of the courage of those who travel the astral plane of freedom. Now on the third day of Christmas, I gave thanks to the Holy Trinity. One mind, one body, one spirit, by which all are connected. All are connected. On the second day of Christmas, I gave thanks to my mum and dad, without whom there could have been no me. I love you, mum. I love you, dad. And on the first day of Christmas, I gave thanks to God and whatever he has in store for me. God is the reason whatever was, was, whatever is, is, and whatever will be, will be.